This here is my uh, failed cross drilling jig from a few weeks ago. Um, I couldn't uh, wait for some bearings I ordered, so I ran it without, and that wasn't uh, a great success. I don't know how well this uh, shows up on camera, but it looks like it got stuck over here. And then that was the result of me hammering it out. A few days ago, the spindle bearings that I ordered arrived. But uh, unfortunately, they are uh, smaller than stated on the uh, Banggood product page. That's definitely not a 16 millimeter, so this is never going to fit. So it looks like I'm not going to be able to uh, save this uh, failure, but maybe that's a good thing, as there is quite a bit of damage on uh, the spindle that I made. Luckily, when I ordered uh, the bearings, I also bought this. It was on uh, sale, like 50% uh, off and I guess I got uh, targeted. I didn't even know I needed this. So you can call this an impulse buy. It's a little uh, spindle with on uh, one side a drill chuck and on the other side a uh, saw blade uh, arbor. Let me uh, quickly uh, put this together. The little uh, 10 millimeter flange bearings needed some convincing in the uh, vise. And I must say, now that things are installed, it isn't really turning smoothly. And it's hardly sliding at all without this little uh, block. Uh, the bearings were sliding uh, very easily and smoothly over the spindle. I must say this is a bit disappointing. It is turning but not sliding. This uh, might uh, change my plans. There was also a little uh, C uh, clip in the same bag. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with that. There's no uh, user instruction or manual. I'll heat that up later and um, seat it uh, properly on the arbor. Some little set screws escaped. And that goes on here. So that's it. It's all assembled. And you even uh, get the tools to assemble it. These uh, little Allen keys uh, can go uh, linear recta into the uh, scrap bin. I have no use for those. And uh, these are the spanners for the uh, saw arbor. This one goes on here and this one is for tightening things up. But I have no need for the uh, saw arbor. Well, maybe to keep things in balance. And 
this here is an optional extra. It's a belt and a pulley. And another one of those uh, freaking Allen keys. It's a good thing I have a big uh, scrap container. I was thinking I might uh, try and uh, electrify this uh, little spindle using this uh, cordless drill motor I saved. This stuff here is all construction glue and it's from when I tried to extend the life of the uh, drill a bit. That worked for about a year and in the end the uh, housing uh, broke. I think this motor and an old uh, uh, laptop power supply might uh, do the trick. And that could be a nice little project for some other time. For now I'm going to use uh, the spindle like this and try and uh, drill some holes in that screw on drill chuck arbor that's uh, stuck on the spindle nose of the old lathe. This is the setup I've uh, come up with. It has all the uh, potential of uh, things going wrong but it uh, might also just work. Um, let's see. I've shimmed up the uh, spindle and it's sitting uh, pretty close to center height and it shouldn't matter if it's uh, a little bit off. I'm going to uh, drive the spindle with my uh, electrical drill um, too bad I no longer have a working uh, cordless drill. That would uh, probably work better as I have to control the drill with only my uh, left hand and uh, turn the uh, cross light with my right hand. So this uh, could get a little awkward. And I'm hoping the uh, drill bit won't have uh, any problem with the uh, knurling here. But I guess we will uh, find out. This here is my uh, spindle lock slash uh, indexing setup. There is uh, some flex but I think it will work. The uh, chuck key here is my uh, sophisticated uh, indexing uh, mechanism. I'm planning to uh, drill three holes in the uh, screw on arbor. And for uh, every hole the uh, chuck key here needs to be uh, pointed up to the sky or uh, the ceiling in this case. It's uh, not super precise but uh, it should be good enough. The last thing I need to do is uh, grind a couple of flats on the spindle for these uh, set screws and uh, turn down the thread on this saw arbor so I can use it uh, with my uh, electrical drill. This way the uh, electrical drill chuck if it uh, loses a uh, grip it will spin on this uh, arbor and not on the spindle itself. Let's find out if my uh, brilliant idea works or if I have to live with another uh, disappointment. Looks like I'm uh, running into the headstock over here. But I did drill something, although uh, this was uh, shaking a little. I'm going to move the uh, spindle a bit and uh, then try again. It. Uh, definitely looks like the uh, center drill uh, walked a little bit because of the knurling. Um, let's try again see if uh, I can get this hole a bit deeper. Um, 
I forgot to figure out how deep I can drill. According to a video by myself, the uh, register on this uh, spindle is a little bit less than 27 millimeters. Uh, this here is 43 and a bit. So drilling at least uh, 6 millimeters deep shouldn't be a problem. Of course, I have no idea when I've uh, reached uh, 6 millimeters. I think I'll uh, drill two more center holes and then uh, switch to another drill bit. Just a bit deeper. That looks about right. And locking the Tilsa quill. That should do it. Moving to the last hole with my awesome indexing system. That looks vertical. Then that's right. done. That uh, worked better than expected, especially since there is no uh, thrust bearing in this spindle. This is a 7mm uh, drill bit and that uh, should easily fit my uh, hook spare. My finger is starting to break out. Good thing the uh, winter is almost over. Here we go. Sounds a little raw. It's hard to to see how deep uh, I've drilled. That's enough.
I think I need to go a little deeper. I think that's better. That's what we'll have to do. And last but not least, a little chamfer. It's totally offset to that side. Well, that will have to do. And now you guys want to have a close up, of course. As you can see, the uh, chamfering is uh, far from perfect. But uh, that will always be a hard thing to do since this is a uh, round. about right oh that's not bad I'll accept it. That's good enough. Well that's done. It certainly isn't perfect but uh, 
all in all, it went better than expected. I do think that the uh, center drill uh, walked a little bit to the uh, right in this case, and that uh, caused the other drills not to line up perfectly, and the hole might actually be a little bigger than uh, it should be. But uh, I can uh, live with this. Well, I have to live with this. It's uh, acceptable. Now I could uh, try and see if I can uh, unscrew this using my uh, hook spanner. But that'll be awkward because uh, I got to hold the pulley while at the same time uh, turning the hook spanner. Besides it also uh, might damage uh, the knurling. So I've come up with a uh, plan B. So plan B uh, involves making a holder for my uh, smallest uh, boring bar. Hundred RPM. So the hole was six and a half millimeter. This reamer is seven. I forgot to change the battery, so I better uh, speed things up. The uh, camera battery ran out, but uh, the hole got reamed anyway, so you didn't miss much. Although I did have to uh, clear out the chips near the end when uh, when the aperture on the uh, frequency drive uh, went up. Here's my 7mm boring bar. So now I'm going to uh, turn the uh, pulley and uh, hopefully this uh, screw on arbor will break free. Oh. Didn't get in the hole, yes. Here we go. Oh, that was easy. All that work. <laughs> For such an anti-climax. I was uh, worried that the uh, uh, taper on the uh, pulley might break uh, loose. Now there is one more thing I uh, need to do to this uh, screw on arbor. And uh, that involves uh, modifying this washer. And for that I need to uh, finish making this uh, uh, boring bar holder and uh, put in some set screws.
it was uh, about to break through. I could just uh, drill another hole but um, uh, the tip of the drill is uh, sticking through. I cannot get the uh, broken uh, drill bit out. So uh, once again it is uh, drastic times require a drastic measures uh, situation. There's still a little bit of a uh, drill bit left. Ooh, it almost got me. I did offset the uh, holes a bit in the hope that I can uh, regulate the uh, uh, height of the uh, pointy bit. four point two millimeter drill bit so I'm going for an M5 set screws behold a clamp especially for the safety Nazis under the viewers don't bother to respond I'm not going to change my lifestyle This here is for uh, lining up the tab, not because I got uh, spared. Hmm, it starts to move. Probably uh, time to stop. I will uh, finish this in the uh, vise. All done, and I still got all uh, ten digits. None of them got uh, eaten by the big old scary uh, drill press. Hopefully that uh, washer will stay in place. That should be close. Twenty six seven three. That will work. Well it's definitely wobbling a little bit more than I was hoping but uh, I think it will be fine.
That's not cutting, that's rubbing. But it looks like it uh, rubbed it the uh, right way. Okay. Acceptable. Up close, it's not as uh, beautiful as uh, from a few meters away, but it will have to do. I just uh, ran a stone over this uh, register here. And uh, that basically concludes the uh, soap series for making this uh, uh, screw on drill chuck arbor. I'm glad uh, that's finally finished. Now I can move on to uh, something else. Although I have bought a uh, bigger 16mm drill chuck for uh, this screw on arbor. So uh, you might see it uh, again in a uh, future video. But for now, this is it, and uh, see you next time. To be continued. A couple of videos ago I started making this uh, uh, boring bar holder for my 16 and uh, 20 millimeter uh, internal turning tools. But then I ran into the uh, problem that this uh, drill chuck just isn't uh, big enough. So I have ordered a uh, bigger drill chuck that can hold up to uh, 16 millimeter drill bits. But according to eBay that's not going to be here till somewhere in April. I don't think I can wait that long, so why not uh, try this chuck and uh, and uh, drill a 15 and a half millimeter hole through this uh, block of steel. I've got a uh, piece of paper on here, and that is supposed to help with the uh, grip, or so I have been uh, told. Probably watched it in a YouTube video. Four hundred RPM. If I tighten up this clamp too much, the uh, top slide gets hard to move. What a mess. But it seems to uh, drill just fine. I think I can uh, cancel my uh, eBay order if possible. Never cancelled anything before. <laughs>